hardware for all of your business supply needs. And don't forget, Harris Ace can supply your building materials from a doghouse to your dream house. Harris Ace Hardware, West Cherry Street in Jessup. It's time now for at least in local sports and sports today. It's round two of the state playoffs in varsity girls softball at the Barbara Sherkoff softball field as Wayne County hosts the Lady Mustangs of Old High School. They come with an identical record of 22 and 7 with the winning team moving on to Columbus and join the elite eight teams left to fight it out for a state title. Today's doubleheader gets underway at five and seven or the game times or pregame show at 445 this afternoon from the Barbara Sherkoff softball field. Mission price $7 for the doubleheader. The if game set for tomorrow at 4 p.m. Wayne County defeated Thomas County Central in a three-game set with Mary Tillman pitching two shutouts to help Wayne County advance. Ola swept a one-seated Stars Mill 12-3 and 6-5 to advance to today's round. Again, their star pitcher Marley Holmes, the winning team, advances to Columbus, Georgia next week where eight teams will battle in double-A elimination event next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Other matchups today in 5A softball. It's Shambly against Carrollton, Miller Grove versus Buford, Statesboro versus Locust Grove, Arabia Mine versus Loganville, Union Grove versus Harris County, Walnut Grove versus Decatur, and Jones County at South Effingham. Again, a big crowd expected today at the doubleheader. It's a whiteout event. All Jacket fans are to wear white. You can purchase your white T-shirts, Sweet 16 shirts at Sheffield's Trophies and Sports Shop, and a proud sponsor for Wayne County Softball all season long here on Big Dog Country. Again, I want to thank our sponsors. Allowing us to bring you this exciting Sweet 16 action. GH, GHSA takes over all the state events, has rules and fees to walk into the park. So, again, without the sponsors, we wouldn't be able to bring you the game, so we appreciate them. Again, make sure you go by and get your Sweet 16 T-shirt today from Sheffield's Trophies and Sports Shop. And our pregame show will begin at 445 this afternoon, Wayne County against Ola. Again, the if game tomorrow at 4 o'clock if needed. Wayne County football this week. Today, a middle school playoff game. Arthur Williams against Long County at J.C. Stadium. That gets underway at 4.30 p.m. Thursday, a doubleheader. Both freshman and JV football teams will play. Freshman will take on Brantley County at 4.30 at J.C. Stadium, while the Liberty team will take on our JV at 6 p.m. Then this Friday night, it's Wayne County against New Hampstead, 7.30 p.m. Tickets for students in advance, $6 at school, $8 at the gate. New Hampstead, 2-0 in region play. Wayne County, 1-0 in region play. Other region games, South Effingham's at Ware County, Ware County 1-0, and South Effingham 0-2, and still winless on this season. Again, our coverage Friday night will begin at 6 p.m. with the Wayne County Coaches Show. Listen in here what Coach Ken Cribb has to say about the game. Also, he'll recap the win over South Effingham. Pre-game show from the stadium begins at 6.45, runs up until kickoff at 7.30 p.m. against Wayne County, New Hampstead, key region game this Friday night at J.C. Stadium. Wayne County High School baseball team played for the state championship last year. This year's team is talented enough to make another run. In the meantime, two of this year's senior class members have already committed to play collegiate ball after the graduation. Senior four times in announcing he will sign November 8th to attend and play for Mercer College in, up in Mercer. And while senior J.T. Crossley will sign November 8th to play for Coker College, a Division II school in South Carolina. Also, Zach Maynor, a former Wayne County Yellow Jacket pitcher, who's at South Georgia College, recently committed to play for Georgia College in Milledgeville. Again, our congrats to all the players and their parents for the scholarships. High school baseball will be here before you know it, and practices will begin shortly after the first of the year. Wayne County's cross-country team will be hosting a meet this Thursday, 4.30 p.m. Most of the region teams and other area teams will be on hand. A week from Thursday is the big day. Wayne County hosts the region meet here at Wayne County's course across from the high school. State meet is scheduled for November 3rd in Carrollton, Georgia, but the region meet again here a week from Thursday, October 26th at 4.30 p.m. Again, the public always invited to come out and enjoy the races and cheer on the Yellow Jackets. Again, a whole meet tomorrow, but the region meet, again, mark the date, October 26th at 4.30 p.m. here in Wayne County. MLB playoffs continue. The Dodgers are just one win away from the World Series. They beat Chicago Tuesday 6-1 in Chicago. They now lead the best of seven series, three games to none. They can close it out today in Chicago. Yankees have tied their series with the Astros. Yankees come from behind last night in New York, win 6-4. That series now tied 2-2. Rex scoreboard from last night, flag football, the Volunteers 18, the Canes 6, Blue Jays 18, Georgia 13, Bama 19, VCU 6. Fleet football, Packers 21, Seahawks 0, Steelers 24, Jaguars 19. In might football was the Dogs 26, Sooners 6. Raiders 14, Cowboys 13, Midget Football, FSU 16, the Dogs 0. Rick scoreboard from soccer, Harder Recycling 8, Nipper Construction 0, 
Cafe Euro 2, BB&T 0, Armstrong Family Dentistry 4, Kitchen Tune-Up 2, Stereo Concepts, Interstate Credit Union Play to that all exciting 0, zero tie. And U10, Samantha Jacobs 9, Jess Belk's Lodge 2, Boykin Steel and Crane 5, Joey Smile Photography 1, First Choice Concrete 8, Epworth United Methodist Church 0, Wayne Memorial 6, Poplar's Farm 0, and U12 was Historic Strand 6, Aravac 0, Sheffield 3, Wayne Memorial 2, and U14, BB&T 5, First Choice Concrete 1, and U18, Wayne Memorial 2, Interstate Credit Union 1. Once again, a reminder, it's Sweet 16 State Playoff Action Day at the Barber Strokoff Softball Field. First game at 5, second game at 7. Again, a big crowd is expected. Tickets $7 for admission price. Get you into both games of the doubleheader. If you can't make it, we'll have it for you right here on Big Dog Country FM 105.5, our pregame today at 4.45 p.m. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports. Sports is brought to you each and every day at this time by